All right, guys. So I've shown you so much stuff on Trump throughout the months and even the years on the number of mysteries that match up with Trump and Gematria and just so many other things to prove that he is the man of sin. The one spoken about in Second Thessalonians chapter 2, the one spoken about in the Old Testament, the little horn and... You know, a horn is a trumpet, right? A trump. So, I want to show you this next one. And it was shown to, be, shown to me by my friend. And I really... This one is just one of the really big ones. It's incredible what I'm going to show you right now. The Bible has 1,189 chapters. So that is 66 books as we have today, and there are 1,189 chapters, 1189. Now you can Google these things yourself, but it's 100% true. Now, this number, you guys have to understand, is not random. All these numbers, the amount of verses and chapters and books and the way they're put together... There are mysteries and secrets all around them. So we have 1,189 chapters. Now we go to the Gematria Calculator on Google. All you type in is Gematria Calculator. And you can type in words or numbers. And if you type in a number, it's going to give you all kinds of words that match that number in Gematria. Now, here are the results by Jewish Gematria, because there are different types of Gematria. But in Jewish Gematria, when you type in the number 1189, which is the amount of verses, excuse me, the amount of chapters in the Bible, the very first thing that comes up is the name Donald J. Trump. Donald J. Trump in Jewish Gematria equals 1189, which is the number of chapters in the King James Bible. Back up a second. If Donald J. Trump was the Antichrist, which I know he is, that is a major connection. He's the one, guys. Think about this. What are the odds that this is just a random coincidence? It's, it's, the odds are a billion to one. For the amount of chapters in the King James Bible to equal Donald J. Trump... You guys, that's, this is, I mean, it's way past, yeah, way past my understanding. Now, when you look that number up in the concordance, it means Baal of winter and also a place in Egypt. Now, you know who Baal is, right? In the Old Testament, they used to worship Baal. Now, when we do an exhaustive research on this, it says from Baal and Tef, I can't pronounce that, in the same sense of cold, according to others in Egyptian form of Typhon, the destroyer. You see that? Baal, the destroyer. Ball of winter, a place in Egypt also. That's crazy, guys. That's 1189 too. In the concordance. And I think that people forget so quick about this in 2019 when these uh, reports came out. Like on the top, it's Vanity Fair and it says, Trump declares himself King of Israel, the second coming of God. Right? And then the Jerusalem post right there below that says, The King Messiah Trump. And he's at the Wailing Wall. And you go to Washington Post, and it says, Trump claims he's the Messiah. Maybe he should quit 
Well, he's ahead. And then we go to the Times of Israel, and it says, in recording, Parmas or something, and Fruman compared Trump to Messiah and CBS News. Trump, king of Israel, Trump tweets, quote, calling himself him the second coming of God to Jews. Uh, I mean, they've been telling you right in plain sight. And then he signed the Abraham Accords and all this stuff. He's coming back in 2025, the year of the snake on the Chinese calendar. We're in the year of the dragon right now. Come on, guys. They're telling you. But, I mean, this is small potatoes compared to the number 1189 in the Bible. The amount of chapters in the Bible, 1189, is Donald J. Trump in Jewish gematria. 